guys! I am going to show you how to do a James Rizzi inspired portrait today. This is one that I completed a few years ago and mine is actually a pop out. This guy sticks up off the paper. In the background I have a roller coaster here. So let's get started on how to do this. Remember, for this project, you have two weeks to complete it. Today, we're going to work on the drawing, so you're going to need a pencil. When we're finished with the drawing, you will need crayons and markers. I'm going to start my portrait with the head shape. James Rizzi always had fun cartoon heads. I'm going to start mine with a U shape, but I'm going to turn it to the side. I want you to draw a nice big U shape, about as big as your hand. Don't worry about filling the top of the U. We'll do that later with some hair. Rizzy always had big eyes in his portrait. So I'm going to make two curves. One, two. The eyes almost fill up the entire size of the face. We're going to close them up with two smile curves. Pretty easy, right? Alright, so if we have big eyes, we have to have big irises and big pupils. There's my iris. And one more circle makes my pupil. Trying to make my irises and pupils about the same size. Whoop, went a lot bigger on that second one. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit bigger here. There we go. Now you'll have to decide what kind of nose you want for your portrait. I'm gonna go with a cartoon nose. So I've made a line down from my eyes. It's got a curve to it and a little curve at the end. Looks pretty good for a cartoon nose. James Rizzi wanted people to be happy when they saw his artwork, so I'm gonna do a huge, happy mouth. Sometimes he would do lips, sometimes he would just have a happy face. I'm gonna open this mouth here. So a few teeth, so I'm going to start out with the two big teeth. I don't know what those ones are called, I call them the rabbit teeth. And then maybe put one more tooth on each side. There we go, that's enough, especially for a cartoon. Maybe a tongue also down here. Curve. Okay, curve. Looks pretty good to me. Now if you want to get really fancy, you can keep adding. You could put lips on your people. Sometimes James Rizzi would do big funny lips. That looks pretty good. I'm going to shade in the pupils because even though I'm going to color this later, I think it looks funny just to have white pupils. the pupils are the black part of your eye. The iris is the color part. Okay. I think my person probably needs a neck. Just two lines will do. Since it's a cartoon, I'm not going to worry too much if my neck is kind of skinny. collar on next. Now you're going to have to decide what your person is doing. I want you to think about it. I had, I showed you a picture of a person on a roller coaster, so their arms were up in the air. While you're thinking about that, we're going to finish a couple of details. I think my person needs some eyebrows. You can decide if your person needs eyebrows or ears, eyelashes, whatever you think they need. <clears throat> We're going to start our hair next. 
Now, of course, there's lots of different styles of hair. This guy. I gave him curly hair. So all I did to start my curly hair was just little swoops along the U. That's pretty cool. Pretty easy. That looks pretty good. Now, of course, your hair isn't stuck down to your head, and it does cover the top of your head. So when I make the rest of the hair, I'm going to go way up here, away from the U. I can give them short hair. That looks pretty cool. He looks very excited. Looks like he's been out in the wind. But let's see, what if I wanted to give my person some long hair? I went all the way down and across and touched the neck. Right off the edge of the paper there. That looks pretty good. So I've drawn a couple extra faces to show you some more hairstyles. Each one has a little different personality here. So let's say we wanted to do some curly hair. So I'm just gonna do some little hopping curves. Again, I'm going to go away from the top of the U. And we've got some curly hair. But what if I wanted to do some long curly hair? always make it even longer if you wanted to. Alright, now, this guy here, would be pretty cool to give him a bald head. Maybe I could just put a little bit of hair on the sides. That would be pretty cool. But what if we wanted to give him... Here, here. I think that looks pretty neat. That looks like it fits this guy here. When I was your age, I had whole comic or I had whole sketchbooks that I filled up with different drawings that I did, and I would make up a new character every single day. All right, this young lady, let's see, I think for her, I'm going to start, some really long hair here. The most important thing is leave some space in between the top of the head and the top of the hair. There we go. Alright. I'm going to show you how to do hats also because you might want to get really creative and put a hat on your person. So I'm going to show you how to do a hat. I'm going to put a baseball cap on this guy right here. So I'm going to start. I'm going to make a big swoop, it's a letter J, for the bill of the hat. I'm going to put his forehead in here. Now I'm going to come over here to the top of the U, and I'm just going to make a hill for the top of his head. That doesn't look too bad, does it? I can put the little button on the top of the hat. And I could even decide 
what went on the front of the hat there. Looks pretty good. Let's see, this guy here. Let's see what kind of hat he has. Maybe a, I'll try for a cowboy hat. I haven't practiced my cowboy hats lately. I'm gonna do a letter M here. Close it up with a little curve. There we go. So letter C. Backwards letter C. Close it up. Big McDonald's M. I'm gonna think he better have a band on his hat. So have fun and play with this. You could do lots of different drawings too. All right, back over to this gal here. Now I told you you had to think about what to do with their arms, right? So I am going to start the arms in just a moment. All right, back to this guy here. I'm gonna give him some shoulders. So I'm gonna start at his neck and I'm gonna come out on either side. Now your shoulders are wider than your head, so my line is pretty long there. I'm going to have his arms going up. So at the shoulder, I'm going to go up. There's the inside of my elbow. So now I can bend. And there's the forearm. I have to decide how big his arms are going to be. I'm going to follow my line down. I want to put both arms up. I could put another line going up here, but I can have one arm going down off of the paper. That's just fine. So I'm going to go down and I can bend at the elbow. I have to do the inside of his arm too. Down and bend. And now I just have to finish out the body. The line going down. arm all the way into the body and then off the edge of the paper. So if he's dancing, maybe he has got his hand out. And if I have my hand out, my thumb is going to face my head. Just a little hot dog thumb there. And then four more hot dog fingers. Because it's more of a cartoon style, we're not going to worry about the details in the fingers. We're not going to worry about the joints or fingernails or anything like that. You should definitely try some of those details. Let's see, I was going to get this guy some glasses. He looked like he could look really good with some nice frames. I'm going to start my frames, go around the eye, close up the shape on the inside, not too bad. in the face and I do a little bit of erasing. I think he looks pretty good. So I want you to finish up your drawing and that's probably enough for the first day. Remember to give your person plenty of personality however you want to draw them. Have fun with this. James Rizzi was always having fun with his portraits too. Um, on your next art day we're going to outline and color your uh, cartoon.
cartoon portrait. All right, we are going to continue with our James Rizzi inspired portrait drawing. And as you can see, the first thing I need to do is outline my drawing. If you don't have a thick Sharpie marker, use your black Crayola marker and it will work just fine. Take your time, stay on your lines. If you get to a place where there are small details, you may need to find a thin marker to outline with. Alright, I have finished outlining and I'm just going to go through with my eraser and clean up any extra pencil lines I'm seeing around the drawing. Looks a lot better when I clean it up. Alright, I have to work on my background and I wanted to show that this guy was dancing. So I've added a few music notes, maybe one or two more, because you have to have music to dance. The other example I had, I drew a roller coaster for. Let's see, what else could I have for dance? I don't have very much room up here in the corner, but maybe a quick disco ball also. pretty good. I'm going to string to hang on and I think I'm ready to outline my background and start adding color. Now just because I don't have paints right now doesn't mean I can't make my own colors. I am making my skin color. I have a layer of brown down and then I'm going to mix other colors into it, and that is definitely something that you can do. Remember, we don't want Crayola to tell us what color we are, or what colors are the right colors. You can make your own colors by mixing them. With this James Rizian style portrait, we don't have to worry too much about shading. He usually added color to his paintings, kind of like a cartoon where it's very flat. So even though I know the nose would stick out, the, edge of the edges of the cheeks would move back, I don't have to do any of that shading or highlighting. You can use a combination of crayons or markers if you like, whatever you have available, whatever works for you best. I used crayons for the skin color because I had a lot more crayons to choose from and to mix with. So I did those first, but if you want to switch over to marker or even watercolor paints, whatever you have is just fine. Now you can see I outlined my hair first. That way when I go to fill it in, I am not gonna go outside of my lines because I can stop at the orange line. And this helps me to do a really quality piece of artwork where my neatness is important.
you are all finished with your James Rizzi inspired portrait, make sure you take a picture of it and turn it in through your seesaw. I hope you have fun with this. Bye!